At number 10, Jane Fonda. Jane Fonda is an incredible actress and activist, and she spent a surprising amount of time in jail. Not for extended periods of time, but she really isn't that afraid of getting arrested. Over the years, Jane has been taken to jail on a number of occasions, most recently following a string of climate protests. In late 2019, Jane was leading a weekly climate change protest, which she called Fire Drill Fridays. Her most recent arrest happened in December of 2019, just a day before her 82nd birthday, where she and a number of other protesters were detained for participating in the climate change demonstration. This most recent arrest followed two more that she had faced as a result of her protests. Like I said, Jane isn't afraid of getting arrested as long as she gets her message of change across. Jane said that up until this recent string of arrests, she hadn't been behind bars since the 70s. At that point in her early life, Jane was arrested after speaking out against the Vietnam War, although her charges back then were more severe than her most recent ones. Her arrest in the 70s came after she was initially charged with fraudulent drug trafficking and assaulting an officer, both of which were inevitably dropped. In 2019, she was arrested five times, and apparently because her list of arrests was starting to climb, had she been arrested more, she could have risked serving a longer jail sentence, but I don't think that Jane was really all that afraid of that risk. She's just there for the movement, not for her image. At number 9, Cole Sprouse. In another case of a celebrity being arrested for protesting, next up we've got Cole Sprouse. The Riverdale star and former Disney Channel actor was arrested back in June 2020 during a peaceful protest during last summer's Black Lives Matter movement. After the ordeal, Cole took to his Instagram to talk about what happened that day where he said, quote, we were given the option to leave and we were informed that if we did not retreat, we would be arrested. When many did turn to leave, we found another line of police officers blocking our route and at which point they started zip tying us. Cole also went on to voice that he didn't want the news of his and other public figures' detainments to take away from the movement, and so he wanted to take his headline of his arrest away from the news outlets in order to focus on the real matter at hand, the lives of black people. Cole and a number of other protesters were held in police custody for around 90 minutes before being charged with a misdemeanor count of violating curfew and then being let go. Now before I carry on with the list, I would like to take a moment and ask you guys to consider leaving a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far, and also head on over to my gaming channel Viper Girl if gameplay content is something that you're interested in as well. So feel free to check it out and maybe subscribe while you're there. At number 8, Reese Witherspoon. Stepping away from arrests for fighting for other people, let's talk about a celebrity arrest that just made the star look bad. Reese Witherspoon seems to have a little bit of diva energy buried within, and we got to see a glimpse of that energy escape when she and her husband were arrested in 2013. The two of them were pulled over by an officer and Reese's husband was given a DUI charge, and in an effort to fight the charges and probably intimidate the arresting officer into letting them go, Reese pulled the do you know who I am card, but it didn't exactly work out as she had hoped. Her attempt at defending her husband resulted in the actress being arrested for disorderly conduct, but the news of her arrest wasn't the only thing to hit the media. The whole incident was also caught on camera. I told you, I'm an American citizen. Uh, I told you to get in that car and stay in there, didn't I? This is beyond. I this told is you, beyond. You fight with me. I promise this you. Is this is harassment. You are harassing me as an American citizen. Years later, in 2020, Reese opened up about her experience getting arrested, where she called the arrest, quote, embarrassing and dumb. At number seven, Amber Heard. Last year, following the explosive court case with her ex-husband Johnny Depp, Amber was exposed for all kinds of horrible things that she subjected her partner to while they were still together, and a lot of people went looking through her past, looking for any behavioral patterns, and found out that she had once been arrested for having a physical dispute in an airport. Back in 2009, Amber Heard was arrested for getting into a physical altercation with her then-partner, Taysa Van Rie, at an airport in Seattle. According to the arresting officer that day, she witnessed Amber hit Re and then took action, proceeding to arrest and book Amber for the misdemeanor battery charge. There was supposed to be a court proceeding to further process her case, however, the prosecutor refused to move forward with the case and it was dismissed, even though there was a witness to the incident. In response to the charges, Re told sources that the incident was blown out of proportions and that the arresting officer was just homophobic and that's why Amber was arrested, but the officer insisted that this was not the case and actually wrote about it on her social media, making a statement on Facebook saying that she identifies as a gay woman and that she didn't issue the arrest out of spite or prejudice, but because she saw the whole thing unfold. At number six, Edward Furlong. 
Actor Edward Furlong, known for his roles in Terminator 2 and Pet Cemetery 2, got himself into a bit of trouble with the law back in 2004 after his drunken escapades led officers to arresting him in public. Furlong and a few of his friends were out on the town one night and after having an evening of drinking, the group decided to go to a grocery store at around 11 p.m. I guess in their drunken state, they decided to become animal activists or something because when they started walking around the seafood department and came across the lobster tank, they got the great idea to plan a great prison escape and tried to free the lobsters. When the employees saw what Edward and his friends were doing, they tried to get them to stop, but if you've ever played GTA, then you know you can't just stop a heist in the middle of it. The police were later called, and the actor was apprehended and charged with misdemeanor public intoxication, booked, and spent three hours in jail that night before being bailed out by the director of the film he was working on at the time. At number five, Amy Schumer. Let's talk about another celebrity who got arrested for protesting. Back in 2018, there was a lot of tension surrounding the allegations against Brett Kavanaugh, as during that time, he was a US Supreme Court nominee. After the announcement of his nomination, backlash ensued as multiple women came forward alleging that they had experienced unwanted contact with Kavanaugh. If you want more specifics on the matter, you'll have to look it up because there are just some things I am not allowed to discuss on YouTube, but I'm pretty sure you kind of get what I'm talking about. Anyway, a lot of people took to protesting Kavanaugh's nomination because of the allegations against him, and comedian Amy Schumer was one of those people. Amy was present at a protest showing solidarity for some of the people who have had bad experiences with Kavanaugh, and as a result of her part in the protest, Amy was arrested. There are videos of the comedian at the event and of her being escorted out by police, but Amy said that she wanted to be arrested for this cause, and so she was. At number four, Ozzy Osbourne. Ozzy Osbourne has had many drunken escapades in his day, and he has made many headlines for some of the outrageous things that he's done while under the influence. In February 1982, he was in the news after getting arrested in San Antonio, Texas, after he was caught peeing on a cenotaph which honored the Alamo. The musician was apprehended after being seen wandering the streets of San Antonio wearing one of Sharon Osbourne's dresses, and after relieving himself on the cenotaph, he was picked up by officers, detained, and was charged with public intoxication. After paying bond, Ozzy was released but was promptly banned from the entire city as a result. Luckily for him, he returned to San Antonio in 1992, apologizing for the incident and making a $10,000 donation to the Daughters of the Texas Republic, an organization which maintains the property that Ozzy peed on. This just added one more crazy story to his growing collection of drunk tales and hopefully taught him a lesson about peeing on things. At number 3, 50 Cent. Back in 2016, rapper 50 Cent got into some trouble while in the Caribbean after saying some colorful language on stage at one of his concerts. It all happened during one of his performances while in St. Kitts. In St. Kitts, the use of profanity in public is illegal, and so when it came to his concert, he was told that he had to refrain from using any adult language while on stage. During one of his songs, he mistakenly said the word mother effer in front of the audience of 40,000 people, and that was a huge no-no. The rapper was allowed to finish the rest of his set, but he was promptly arrested after the show. In his defense, 50 Cent said that he didn't have a clean version of the song, and he forgot to move his mic away from his mouth when he said the word. Luckily for him, when it came to his legal matters in court, he was only asked to pay a fine, and he settled the charge against him, but I'm sure he's since made sure to never repeat that mistake again. At number two, Winona Ryder. Actress Winona Ryder was riding a huge wave of success in her early career, but she seemingly hit rock bottom in the media after her shoplifting scandal back in 2001. Winona was caught stealing a good amount of merchandise from Saks Fifth Avenue in Beverly Hills, and the actress was promptly caught and arrested. Winona was apprehended by police after having stolen about $5,500 worth of merchandise and was charged with grand theft and vandalism and was found guilty of her crimes. She luckily didn't have to face any jail time and was instead forced to pay a fine of $2,700 and had to complete 480 hours of community service to make up for her offense. This scandal tarnished her career for a long time and this arrest was public and all over the news, but she has since moved on from the incident and has regained some success in later years. And finally at number one, George Clooney. 
After attending a protest in front of the Sudanese embassy in Washington DC in 2012, actor George Clooney was arrested in public. The actor was attending a protest to make a statement against the Sudanese government for the treatment of their civilians and for not providing their people with humanitarian aid. George was one of the many people in the crowd to be detained for their public demonstration and there are many photos of the actor being escorted away from the building by officers. After getting arrested at the protest, the actor was charged with a misdemeanor for disorderly crossing a police line and was forced to pay a fine of $100. Starting off our list at number 10, Andy Dick. Andy Dick has a long history of getting in trouble with the law, and 2021 was no exception. He went through three major arrests this year. In June, he was arrested for assault with a weapon. Apparently, he assaulted his boyfriend with a metal chair, and he could have killed him if the police did not intervene. The man was then taken to the hospital, where he was treated for his injuries. A source said about Andy Dick at the time, quote, It was getting worse and worse and worse. Every day there was some kind of problem. There were signs something was going to happen. Then a similar incident happened shortly after where he was accused of hitting his boyfriend over the head with a bottle. Apparently they got in an argument and it turned violent. As well in October, he hit his boyfriend again with a frying pan. It was the second time in two months that police were called to his house because of a domestic dispute. And at number 9, Fetty Wap. In October of 2021, rapper Fetty Wap was arrested for allegedly running a bicoastal opioid operation out of Long Island. He was arrested right before he was set to perform at the Rolling Loud Festival, but obviously had to cancel due to his sudden arrest. The feds said that Fetty Wap was allegedly, quote, kilogram level dealer in the operation. FBI Assistant Director Michael Driscoll said about the bust, quote, The fact that we arrested a chart-topping rap artist and a corrections officer as a part of the crimes illustrates just how vile the drug trade has become. Fetty Wap, along with five others, allegedly trafficked more than 100 kilos of opioids and mainly sold them in New Jersey and across Long Island. The ring was allegedly a multi-million dollar operation between June 2019 and June of 2020, according to law enforcement. In at number 8, Flavor Flav. In October, Flavor Flav was arrested in Las Vegas, accused of battery after attacking a woman. The police report claimed he'd poked her nose, grabbed her, threw her down, then grabbed her phone out of her hand. After the arrest, his attorney said, quote, In alleged domestic violence cases, there are often two sides to the story, and we will explain our side in the courtroom and not in the media. This is not the first time that he's been arrested in Vegas either. He was also arrested in 2015 on substance and alcohol charges. At that time, he pled no contest to misdemeanor driving under the influence and was fined $685 in order to attend a drunk driving school. In at number 7, Jen Shaw. You guys already know I've been obsessed with Jen Shaw's arrest since it came out because I'm a huge fan of The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City and for the first time ever we were able to watch her get arrested on live TV then battle out her case in court. She was arrested by the feds on March 30th of 2021 for allegedly ripping off people in a telemarketing scam. She's now facing charges of conspiracy to commit wire fraud and conspiracy to commit money laundering with maximum sentence of 30 years in prison if she's found guilty. The prosecutor claims that Jen, quote, allegedly ripped off hundreds of people across the country, many of whom were over 55, encouraging them to invest in dubious online projects and selling bogus business services from 2012 to as recently as this month. Viewers were able to watch Jen get arrested during an episode in season two of the show, and it seemed as though she got a tip off call and tried to flee from the arrest. Because moments after Jen left a trip with her friends, the Fed showed up looking for Shaw. As of now, she is out on bail and denies all of the charges. In at number 6, Hayes Greer. Influencer and former Dancing with the Stars contestant Hayes Greer was arrested in July of this year after allegedly beating up a man and stealing his phone. He was booked in Charlotte, North Carolina after a warrant was issued for his arrest. The charges against him were common law robbery, felony conspiracy and assault serious bodily injury, according to TMZ. Greer was also accused of stealing the man's $1,200 phone. However, months after the arrest, the charges against Greer were dropped. Apparently, the prosecutors did not have sufficient evidence to prove without a reasonable doubt that Greer was the aggressor in the situation, not the other party. Greer got famous off Vine, then made it to week 7 on Dancing with the Stars in 2015 at the age of 15. 
Halfway number 5, Drake Bell. Former Nickelodeon star Drake Bell, best known for his role in Drake and Josh, was arrested in Cleveland on June 3rd of 2021, charged with attempted endangerment of children. The documents show he was charged for other crimes relating to indecent activities, specifically towards juveniles. He pled not guilty to the crimes. Apparently, the event happened in 2017, the same day that he performed at the Odeon Concert Club in Cleveland. During the sentencing, the victim that came forward, who is now 19, said that she faced physical and mental trauma at the hands of the actor. In her statement, the victim called Bell a quote, monster, who preyed on her and said that he is a danger. In the end, he was sentenced to two years probation and 200 hours of community service on the charges. In at number four, Trey Songs. Singer Trey Songs was arrested at a football game and the whole thing was caught on camera. The arrest happened after Trey got in a fight with a cop at a Kansas City Chiefs game. In the video, we see an officer come forward and try to arrest him, but then he fights back and tries to stop the arrest. Trey then put the officer in a headlock. His friends were standing by watching, and one friend said, quote, Trey, don't do it, man. After a struggle, Trey was cuffed and detained. He was charged with trespassing, resisting arrest, and for assaulting a police officer, a low-grade felony. Sources told TMZ that the confrontation started when Trey was being heckled by other attendees in the crowd, and then the officer all of a sudden just went after him. In the clip, you can hear someone yelling at the officers that Trey didn't do anything wrong. In at number three, Alyssa Milano. Alyssa Milano was arrested outside the White House on October 19th of 2021 for refusing to clear the area during a protest. Milano was protesting for the No More Excuses Voting Right Now cause in Washington, D.C. Apparently, police told the group to disperse or risk being arrested. And when she did not leave, the arrest took place. Milano then tweeted, quote, I was just arrested for demanding that the Biden administration and the Senate to use their mandate to protect voting rights. Stand with me and tell the Senate and the White House that voting rights shouldn't depend on where you live. In at number two, DeBaby. DeBaby was arrested while out shopping in Beverly Hills on January 7th of 2021. Apparently, a security guard at the Gucci store called the cops on him after he noticed that he had a gun in his waistband. The security officer was not sure if he posed a threat and got police involved just in case. Beverly Hills police said, quote, Police made contact with the group after they entered a vehicle and were preparing to leave the area. An investigation followed, and a 9mm handgun was found in the vehicle. DeBaby was taken into custody and booked, but he wasn't charged and was later let go. And finally, at number one, David Eason. Former teen mom star Janelle Evans' husband, David Eason, was arrested in November for driving with a revoked license. Apparently, he was driving in Columbus County, North Carolina, when he was pulled over. When the cop looked further into his record, the cop realized that Eason's license was revoked. He was then charged with possession of an open container of alcohol in the car, but not charged with a DWI. He's due to appear in court on February 16th of 2022. In May, Janelle Evans accidentally revealed that Easton had his license revoked over an unpaid seatbelt ticket when she was getting into a fight with an internet troll. In the comments of a TikTok video, Janelle exposed that his license was suspended for two days because that's what happens in the state of North Carolina when tickets are not paid. First up at number 10, Tyga. Tyga was arrested in October of 2021 on domestic harm charges following allegations from his ex-girlfriend, Cameron Swanson. The media relations department tweeted the news that the LAPD had booked him. He was later released on a $50,000 bail. Tyga turned himself in Tuesday after he refused to speak to police that came to his home. A source told TMZ about the alleged altercation. Tyga claimed that Swanson showed up to his home unannounced, while intoxicated, and apparently after he let her in, things escalated to violence. But Swanson shared a different story and shared text messages proving that Tyga wanted her to be there and even sent a car for her. Because they were in a fight and even potentially about to break up, and Tyga wanted to smooth things over. After TMZ reported that she showed up uninvited, she posted the text to her Instagram story and wrote, quote, I didn't show up screaming or uninvited. When I tried to leave, he physically assaulted me and refused to let me leave for hours. Adding, quote, I'm so embarrassed and ashamed it had to get like this, but I had to stand up for myself. She then posted photos of her face swollen and bruised, claiming that he'd hit her and insinuated that it was not the first time. As of now, there are no more updates on the case. And at number nine, Paul P.K. Kemsley. Paul Kemsley, known as P.K. on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, was just arrested on November 23rd of 2021 for driving under the influence. He went to a dinner where he had a glass of wine and then he left in his vehicle. He was then pulled over just off Laurel Canyon and when breathalyzed, he blew a 0.81, which is just over the legal limit. 
PK was arrested and brought to the police station in Van Nuys, where he took another breathalyzer test and then blew a 0.073. At the time PK was pulled over and arrested, he was alone. PK's attorney Alan Jackson told Page Six, quote, PK was arrested and cited on November 23rd on suspicion of a DUI. While out with a business colleague, PK consumed a glass of wine with dinner. PK shared in a statement that he regrets his decision and wishes he would have taken an alternative transportation home that night. The statement added that he takes these charges very seriously and will be cooperating with authorities. This is not the first terrible event that has happened to the couple in the last few months. Just a few months ago, Dorit was held in her home while she was robbed. In at number 8, Alex Caruso. LA Lakers player Alex Caruso was arrested on June 22, 2021 for possession of illegal substances in Texas. Apparently the substances were found in his possession, along with paraphernalia to smoke it with. He was about to board a flight at Easterwood Airport in College Station, Texas, when the TSA searched his bag and found these items. He was then arrested for possession, and they discovered he had less than 2 ounces of the substance on him at that time. He was arrested then taken to the police station, but was released after posting bond. Crusoe attended Texas A&M from 2012 to 2016, and his bond release amount totaled $4,200 with a $552 fine. In at number 7, Polo G. Rapper Polo G was arrested on June 12th of 2021 after he got an altercation with police officers following a party in Miami where police were called to the scene. He was charged with battery on a police officer, resisting arrest with violence, criminal mischief, and two other counts. Reportedly, the rapper was pulled over by cops for no apparent reason, and when an officer tried to cuff him, Polo G fought back and struck the officer. Another officer ordered everyone else in the car to get out so they could search her for weapons or other illegal items. Because he resisted arrest, he was cuffed and brought to the police station. He was released two hours later when his bond was paid. Polo G later tweeted about the incident, quote, they play in foul in Miami and that sh been like that for a minute. In at number 6, Bonnie Somerville. Actress Bonnie Somerville was arrested on May 16th of 2021 after she was arrested for driving under the influence in LA. The police tracked down Somerville after the cops got numerous calls about a Mercedes Benz that was pulled over to the side of the road on Interstate 405. When officers came to investigate, they found Somerville passed out behind the wheel. When the officers woke her up, she told them that she had run out of gas and was waiting to be assisted. But the cops smelled alcohol on her breath, so they tested her. After doing a field sobriety test, she failed and was booked for driving under the influence. She was later released by authorities and she did not give a comment to media. Halfway number five, Johnny Damon. Former All Star baseball player Johnny Damon was arrested on February 19th of 2021 in Florida. He was charged for resisting an officer after he was pulled over under suspicion that he might have been driving while intoxicated. The suspicion started after witnesses saw him swerve, hit a curb, and drive past a stop sign, according to the police report. After the police pulled him over, it was reported that he was clearly intoxicated, slurring his words and stumbling around. When police tested him, he blew more than three times the legal limit, so he was immediately taken away. It seems that his wife, Michelle Megan Damon, was also in the car when he was pulled over because she was also booked for assaulting an officer and resisting arrest with violence. In at number four, Adam Jones. Former NFL star Adam Pacman Jones was arrested on February 15th of 2021 for getting physical with a nightclub bouncer. He was arrested in Ohio just before 2 a.m., and records show that he hit and kicked the man until he was unconscious. He was charged with misdemeanor assaults, and he posted 10% of his $25,000 bond, the records show. Jones is best known for his time with the Cincinnati Bengals, where he has spent eight seasons. Most recently, he was playing for the Denver Broncos until he announced his retirement in 2018. Even though he was a great cornerback on the field, it seems he'll be remembered most for his scandals off the field. In at number three, Chad Wheeler. Chad Wheeler was arrested on January 25th of 2021 after he was accused of domestic harm. According to the Seattle Times, he was accused of harming his girlfriend, then told not to have any contact with her. He was released after paying the $400,000 bail and surrendering any weapons that he had in his possession. Police responded to a call from his girlfriend after she locked herself in a bathroom because the pair were engaging in a physical fight. When she called 911, she told them that she thought she was going to die. She suffered a dislocated arm and was bleeding when police arrived. The report also stated that police officers could hear screaming when they arrived to the apartment. The Seattle Seahawks cut him from their team following his arrest, along with a statement condemning his actions. In at number 2, Salento. Rapper Salento was arrested on February 1st of 2021 for allegedly fatally shooting his cousin, Frederick Rooks, outside of Atlanta on January 21st. Following the incident, Rooks was found dead with several gunshot wounds. The police also uncovered surveillance footage that showed the shot and then cars fleeing the scene. 
This is not the first time that he's been arrested. Salentia was also arrested in August of 2020 for breaking and entering into an LA home. Apparently he did this because he was looking for his girlfriend. Salento is known for his one hit wonder song that went viral in 2015 called Watch Me. The video has been watched more than 1.8 billion times on YouTube since its release. At the time of the reports, he was being held in jail after being charged. No further information has been reported. And finally, at number one, G Easy. After being arrested during New York Fashion Week in September, G Easy has pled guilty to disorderly conduct after getting in a brawl in a club. The fight took place at the Boom Boom Room, and he was originally charged with misdemeanor assault after the altercation left another person needing stitches. Since pleading guilty, he has been ordered to complete three Manhattan Justice Opportunity sessions, according to TMZ. This program is a sentencing alternative that connects the guilty party with a social worker so they can address the underlying issues in the person's life that caused them to break the law. The altercation at the club happened when the rapper's crew clashed with another at the club. During the brawl, someone from G-Eazy's crew hit socialite Daniel Chetrit over the head with a bottle and he later needed stitches. So that's all for the list, let me know your thoughts below. But before I go, I'm going to shout out some comments from Top 10 Secrets Hollywood does not want you to know. The Juliet said, Number 7 is timely given that Drake just withdrew his Grammy nods. Yeah, there's something about um, award shows not being fair or being rigged. Definitely, I think a lot of, we found that out with The weekend. number one. I'm not sure why Drake submitted and then took back after he got nominated. I'm not sure what the reason was there, but clearly making a statement. MLG Gamer said, I had no idea he was related to Francis Ford Coppola. That's amazing. Though I see why he would want to hide that. He wants to be successful on his own and not coast off someone else's success, which I can respect actors and actresses that do that. Yeah, because I think if people knew that sort of thing, they wouldn't think that he deserved or earned his roles. And maybe there's a small part that did. Maybe he didn't earn his first few roles, but you know, his uncle helped him get started, and now, you know, he's a well known actor. Then Ishmael said, Mackenzie's back at it again. Thank you so much. All right, guys, that is all for the video. Thanks so much for watching. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith, and we'll catch you in the next one.